We're at the one that we had in July in Ankeny for uh, another one of our sites. He was absolutely fantastic, and I'm so glad uh, that we're able to do these. So I want to start by asking, is there anybody here who has driven in from more than 100 miles away? You think you drove more, about two hours or more? Raise your hand if you did that. Awesome. Where did you come from? From St. Louis. From St. Louis, fantastic. And you guys are from? From Jessa, fantastic. Well, I appreciate our, our long distance travelers. St. Louis, tell us your name. Carissa Johnson. Carissa, you win the award for coming the furthest to be a part of our local tonight, and we are thankful we appreciate you. Um, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to talk about Thrive, but one of the things I wanted to make sure I did was just kind of the basics. And so our, our little PowerPoint here is really intended just to be an illustration of the befores and afters and the experiences people have had with Thrive, but this is the slide I wanted you to pay attention to. And it's really the, the best case I can make um, for why this is a life-changing experience. And the first is that it's simple. Uh, you do your three steps and you're set for the day. I'm not gonna go to the uh, vitamin aisle at the store and pick out six different things and spend $200 a month and have to adjust my levels and understand, you know, be half a doctor and understand what I'm doing. Um, this is a product that provides everything that I'm gonna need, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, energy, and it does it uh, in, in simple steps in the morning. So three simple steps, you're gonna hear that over and over tonight within the first 20 or 30 minutes of my day. I'm set, I eat whatever I want after that, right? We're not messing with meal replacements or magic pills, and that is something that I was very interested in um, from the start. The second is, it's fast, so I do my, my first step as soon as I wake up, and then as soon as I'm out of the shower, I've got my last step uh, finished, and I'm ready to um, go on about my work day. So, in addition to being a prom promoter, I have a quote-unquote real job, and it's a fairly demanding one, so, um, you know, I have to make sure that I'm um, ready to go and focused in the morning and um, you know my previous life was about uh, ingesting a ton of coffee and, and energy drinks uh, just to make myself functional uh, to do that job and I'm really thankful that I'm not in that place anymore. The next piece is that it's flexible you eat what you want obviously within reason um, but I'm somebody who the folks who work with me here know that I'm raiding the um, candy corn jar a couple of times a day still right like I don't like I understand the relationship that sugar has to my addictive tendencies, but um, I still ingest some of it, and I will still have some coffee occasionally, but the point is I don't want it like I did, and I don't feel dependent on it, and I'm not riding that high and low throughout the day. So I'm eating what I want, but I'm choosing to eat better because I'm conscious of putting premium nutrition and great fuel in my body, and that's been a great experience for me. The, th the fourth piece there is it's, it's well, Mm. I don't know. I'm not sure what that was. The fourth piece is that it's powerful and it allows you to create life changing results in your weight and your energy and your focus. So I'm going to talk a little tonight about weight loss. But um, Thrive is about so much more than weight loss. It's about you know, creating energy for life. It's about having the ability to function for that extra two or three or four hours. Now, when you're 22, that's not as big of a focus for you, right? But by the time you're in your 30s and 40s, you're starting to feel that metabolism change and the energy deplete. And maybe you're not getting through the end of the day. Maybe you're not there for um, what your children are doing at the end of the day. Maybe you're not there for the friendships you're trying to maintain after work. And maybe you're not there for uh, the, the work that you have to do in the evening, frankly, if, you're, if you do any kind of volunteer or community work or anything in addition to your, um, your day job. And uh, that's saying nothing of getting a workout in, right? I mean, how many of us, our primary excuse for not getting into the gym and doing some work is, I'm just tired after work. I mean, I'm not, after 6.30 or 7, when I finish dinner, I'm not going to do it. And so this is the power that Thrive brings as a tool that's going to uh, give you the energy throughout the day and allow you to keep going uh, until uh, you, you are ready to finish out your day. And I, I know some folks um, do their patch um, around the clock. I choose to take mine off at um, when I go to bed. And so um, I, you know, when I pull the patch at the end of the night, I can definitely feel um, the change happen to, to get me ready for bed. And I don't know if any of the rest of you are like that, but um, you know, I know the difference between when I'm using my um, DFT, when I'm having my Thrive experience, and when I'm not. So the, the fifth item is that it's premium, it's fine-tuned nutrition, it's great fuel for your body, which I kind of covered. And finally, we want to make sure to say that it's natural. It's 100% non-GMO, plant-based. This is not a magic pill. It's not a chemical that somebody cooked up. It is 
uh, the right mix of nutrients to get into your body so that you are ready to function at a, a really prime level. And um, you, you know, the, when you do products that you talk to your friends about and you're working through your network of people, um, most often you're saying to them, you would look good in this necklace or you need this knife in your kitchen, right? But that's not what we do. What we say is put Thrive in your body. Put Thrive in your body. Give us three days, five days. Give us an opportunity to show you how it's gonna feel. You will feel it. You'll feel the change. You'll understand what we're talking about with the power um, of Thrive as a tool for premium nutrition. So we're gonna start tonight with um, some stories of folks who uh, I have, have been in contact with and who have become a part of my team and who have joined me in this journey uh, since about February of this year. Keep in mind, uh, and I know there are some drivers in the room who've been doing it for a really long time, and I'm very grateful that you're here. We are all newbies, and we have been doing this experience for seven or eight months, and we're still really excited about it. Like, we still can remember feeling bloated and lethargic and not feeling like we had energy and wondering, is this it for me? Like, is this it? Am I, never, am I not gonna be able to come back from this? Am I just gonna get big and round in midlife and that's it? Um, and we're, you know, we're really pleased to know that there's another side. So we're gonna begin tonight uh, with John Williams Kasperzak, who is from Waterloo Cedar Falls, and I happen to have a, a tangent relationship with my day job with, and uh, John was one of the first people uh, to respond when I got involved, and she essentially said, whatever you're doing, get me some of it, and she trusted me, and I appreciate that she did that. Our mic appears to be out, but I one thing I know about you is that you're gonna be capable of making the necessary projections. I think I can be loud. I think okay. you can. This is John. Hi everybody, um, I will definitely try to be loud. So um, I brought notes because I have so much to say. So my name is John Williams Kasperzak and you should um, write that down. There'll be a quiz at the end and I'll spell that. <laughs> so please pay attention. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I am a very busy mom. I have a five-year-old beautiful daughter and she uh, keeps me very, very busy. I also work full time um, and manage a household. So uh, I'm, I'm busy, I'm tired all the time. Um, and did you guys see some of the before and after pics up here? I was in them. I was so big. Like I want to see it. It's up there. John, put the, put the, <laughs> it, I was so, so big and I didn't even, I mean, I realized it, but I didn't really know until after, after some time had gone by, I lost some weight and saw myself. So the, really, um, it, Thrive has done, oh my gosh, I know I'm like, I was trying to cover myself up with that diaper bag. Like that was going to hide the, how bad I was from other people. Um, and maybe for myself, but it did not, it didn't work. It didn't work, but I got a fashionable one. So, yeah, you got a good bag. I did. So <laughs> one of the, some of the things I want to cover is I'm not really into things like this. Um, so uh, any of my friends who, who have been like, hey, would you come to my blah, blah, blah party? I'm like, no, no friends, no Becky. I like you, we're friends, but I'm not coming to any of your parties ever. So it just was, that was not my thing. It's, I, I don't get into sales or doing thing, anything that seems a little gimmicky, I'm out, I'm out. So uh, what happened was um, I, I met John, and I've known him for a while, we worked together, and I saw him start to change, and he started to show up to work a little more timely and have a little more energy. He had some other things that I really wanted, like a waistline. I did not have it at that point. And so I, I said, seriously, like you're gonna have to talk to me about this. So he shared his, his experience with Rive. Um, I think I'm good, I don't need it. So he shared his experience with Thrive, and and one of the important okay thanks. So one of the important <laughs> things that um, that I benefited from was um, I've got some serious autoimmune issues, and I was trying to treat myself because modern medicine was really not working for me. Um, I spent some time seeing some doctors, some specialists, and I was not getting better. And at one point, I couldn't work. Um, I couldn't pick up my daughter. Um, you know, she's a, she's a five year old size. And think about it. if you're is anybody in here, mom? When you can't pick up your child and carry them, it is gut-wrenching. Um, so I knew I needed to, to do something and I was willing to do anything. Um, I was also taking about 30 vitamin supplements a day at that point also because I, I was just trying to get better. I just needed to get better and medicine wasn't doing it for me. So, so the, three, the three big points that really, uh, that really brought me to just pick it up and buy it is, um, is three things. So desperation, I needed to get better. I needed to feel better. I needed to look better. Um, I needed to act better because I was cranky all the time. 
Um, the second thing was commitment to my health, and the third thing was I trusted my friend. Because I'm not gonna do anything that doesn't work for somebody else. So I trusted my friend, and here I am. And I've been driving for eight, almost nine months now. Um, it took me about two weeks to figure out that I could not live without drive. I know a lot of people see, start to feel it sooner, and it just, I've been taking so many supplements that um, it took me a couple of weeks, but then it was like, it was there, and I could feel it, and I was like, oh, I really, really need this. Um, it, it really helped with my, with just energy, and um, I can run now, I can run. Before, I had a hard time going upstairs, and now I can run, I can jog. Um, I can pick up my daughter and carry her around. I carried her around the farmer's market this summer, even though that's probably a, you know, enabling thing to do. I did it, it was so fun. It was amazing, it was an amazing thing. So, uh, 51 pounds, I think I said that, I'm at 51 pounds, lost, it's exciting. Um, but this, this not only did it, did it really help me on the outside, it really helped me on the inside too. Um, I didn't realize how bad I felt about myself and how I looked and how I, how I acted, I didn't realize that. So this was a really, a really life-changing product for me. It's, it's definitely not unicorns, you know, it's not rainbows. Um, everything takes work, but it's been fantastic for me. So I would really encourage you to talk with me more if you've got some things that sound in interesting to you that you want to talk more about. And the big thing is the three simple steps. It's a patch. My kid really loves to, to put my patch on to mommy. Let me put your patch on. And then at night, I'm like, you want to rip it off? She really loves that part. Mm -hmm. um, and so as soon as she tastes the shake, she likes to sample them, she likes to help me make them. Um, so, and she, it's, it really, it's so easy. It's so easy. If it wasn't easy, Kyle wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, please come talk with me later if you'd like to. Um, and that's all I got. Thanks, John. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, yes. Well, we're done that mic. Fighting this, fighting this all night. Um, so fortunately, I have uh, other team members who also do not need a microphone tonight. So um, I'm going to introduce Kyle Carlson next. Kyle is one of my best friends in the world. I also work with Kyle. Kyle I think Kyle might have gotten me my current job, but we're not, I don't usually admit that in uh. public. Um, and, you know, Kyle um, has a great sense of um, how to work his network, He's, and, but he was also pretty skeptical about the product, and I think, um, you know, I started, and then he came to see me a couple of months after that, and I think he was also really um, moved by the change that I was undergoing, and decided to see if he could give it a try. He's a little bit younger than I am, he's more active than I am, and I really didn't, I really didn't know. I, I gotta be completely honest with you, for those of you who are thriving, I did not put Kyle on my initial contact list, even though he's one of my closest friends. I was like, he doesn't need it, and, um, Listen to Kyle and decide for yourself if you need it. He put his picture up, too. Yeah. Oh, I got his picture up. Hang on, hang on. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, you know, I guess I would start by saying, I don't know that I would say if I was skeptical of the product at the get-go, I was skeptical of you, because that's just my standard position here. Um, so as John said, so John and I work together. I do uh, government relations for a health insurance company. The time John uh, kind of got started last December into January, I'm usually working legislative session from January to about May. And so the time he reached out to me and uh, started talking to me about um, what he was doing, uh, it was about February of this year. I was middle of legislative session. It's the time of year where it's, I mean, it's February in Iowa, right? So it's incredibly dark early. Uh, I've got two kids under the age of five. I was running around the state capitol for eight, nine hours a day, and uh, 6.30 or 7 o'clock rolls around and you're just exhausted, and it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm done for the day. So John, um, you know, seeing him occasionally in the office, seeing the uh, effect this product was having on him, I did approach him at one point and just said, okay, seriously, I'm seeing the Facebook videos, uh, I'm seeing the other stuff, just tell me what this is, because I might be interested. So he gave me a sample, and I did what a lot of people do, it sat on my counter for like three weeks. <laughs> um, and so finally when I decided to give it a go, um, I, uh, I wouldn't say I was what you would call it or what people call a day one thriver, uh, but I definitely felt like a, a little something was going on, but not uh, enough that I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. But um, I, did the, I did the sample, talked about it a little more, and went ahead and decided to give it the 30 day go because it was legislative session, what do I got to lose? Um, it was probably week three, week four, and I'm not even so sure that I noticed it as much as my wife noticed it, but things started happening like I was not dead tired at eight o'clock at night. Uh, I, when I would get home at 4.30 or five o'clock, playing with my kids wasn't a chore. Uh, I was sleeping better. I, that's probably what I started noticing first. 
What Jenna, my wife, would notice is that I was actually up earlier, so if Logan woke up, or if my one-year-old son woke up in the middle of the night, or, or at 5 a.m., I was the one that was up and it was fine, I could just be up for the day. Things that are absolutely not um, what I was about at any time prior. Um, but what really did it, honestly, what really did it for me is, um, you know, the photo, um, first of all, I'm in blue, I'm not Chewbacca. <laughs> but that's from, uh, that is from March of uh, 2017. I was about 225 pounds. Um, you know, I used to have this joke of a rule that I would never live or work more than a mile from a McDonald's because I would eat it all the time, and uh, that's what you get when you do that. Um, but what really did it for me is uh, I've been playing for two years in a tennis league in a local gym uh, for the last two years, um, and uh, but I would only ever play doubles, right? I, I played I played tennis in high school, played a little bit in college. That clearly got a, that that both that body type and that conditioning got away from me a long time ago. Um, but I started kind of getting back into it a little bit a couple of years ago. Would only play doubles because I didn't think I had the energy or the conditioning or the whatever to play singles and do all the running myself. Uh, but after having been uh, using Thrive for a couple of months, the club tournament came up in April. They asked me to start to, to consider signing up. I signed up with my doubles partner right away. They asked if I wanted to play singles, and I kind of had this moment where I was like, you know what, I might be able to do it. So I signed up to play singles just to say, well, I guess we'll find out if this product is really you know, doing what I think it's doing or not. And uh, so I signed up for singles, I won the tournament. Uh, and so that was in mid to late April. I hadn't played competitive singles since I was 19 years old. And uh, ended up winning the tournament and was able to go um, play in uh, September in the national tournament in Minneapolis. And it's, I mean, so it's just been a total. So that was in April and I clicked the promoter button in May. Uh, when session was over, I told John, look, I will, do, um, I will do my part to help you get started, build a team. I've got a network, obviously, through doing the work I do through my day, day job. I'd be happy to help you since you helped me. Um, and then I kind of had a thought shortly thereafter, which is, wait a minute, why am I going to make money for John when I can <laughs> make a little money too? So that's where the click the promoter button and let's do this thing for real came from. So um, I've been a promoter since May 10th and, uh, you know, working with John building this local Iowa team and uh, it's been great. So um, I think probably the one thing, you know, John's often good at giving instructions of things he wants to talk about or wants me to talk about. So the other thing I'd say too that um, is, was valuable for me and has been valuable for most of the people I've talked to is the most, one of the most important parts about this product is you can do it for free, mm -hmm. right? And that's the piece that I think um, I need to spend more time educating folks on, right? If you get two referrals in, your supply can be free. And so for people that you know in basically any <coughs> position of their life, they don't have to become a promoter, they don't have to decide you've got to uh, be, you know, become a true bit, you know, start the entrepreneurial path and go down that road. You don't have to do that with Thrive. You can uh, refer a couple of your friends, <coughs> share with your friends, and get your supply for free. And that's, uh, you know, that's important for a lot of people. And you don't overwhelm them with the business piece until they're ready. Uh, so um, that's uh, that's honestly one of the things that I've really focused on in trying to get my folks in and, and the people that I know. Because if you use it and you like it and it benefits you, you want to share it with everybody anyway. And so that's kind of how we get started. So that's been my focus. Anything else, boss? No. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is still not happening, is it? Uh. Huh. <laughs> you know what that means. Talk louder. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm John, and yeah, I think I was up for a little while here previously. There's me. Uh, so I'm uh, 49 years old. I just turned 49. The pictures are from 2016 to 20 uh, to this spring, to middle of 2018, and um, so. I got a background in healthcare policy. I worked as a governor's healthcare policy advisor uh, for four years and then in the Department of Public Health running Iowa's healthcare reform operation for two years. And in addition to that, I have a little bit of a hand in federal healthcare policy making, 13 years as a practicing attorney and now four years in a private healthcare uh, company. And um, I, I, that process did a few things for me. One. Um, it made me extremely skeptical about sketchy healthcare claims. So I'm not going to do a pro wellness product that um, is in any way flaky or has any element to it um, that d isn't proven and doesn't do um, results um, without harmful side effects. And so I read and I think and I decide uh, very carefully how to proceed with anything that I put in my body. 
The second thing it did was, you know, I've worked on six political campaigns. I spent a long time in and around government, and you you live the the life that is depicted, uh, like when you see this in TV and movies, is actually fairly accurate. You live on pizza and alcohol and um, anything else that you can grab. Actually, when you're traveling, you um, you always eat because you don't know when you're going to stop and eat again, right? So you end up eating six times because it was there. And um, I did that over the course of 22 years, and I ended up in a pretty bad place. So by the, um, I had ended my last campaign in 2014. By the end of 2015, I was about 40, 45 pounds overweight. I was sick. I, my lifestyle was I was coming home from work and at 6 o'clock getting into bed and watching a movie and um, not being functional after that. Um, and, you know, that, is a, that takes a toll on you psychologically after a while. And so I got into a situation where I needed a, a surgery. It was a pretty simple surgery, but I couldn't have it unless I lost about 25 pounds. And because of the nature of what it was, I couldn't work out on a treadmill or go running or do the things that I would, would normally do to lose the weight. So this is like last September, October of last year. Fortunately, uh, Beth Graves, who's here with us tonight, reached out and um, through her, her friendship in my household, um, was able to get me a sample of Thrive. And um, I looked at a number of products. Um, I thought about how I was gonna handle the issue that I needed to lose a bunch of weight and become more active, and I decided to give this a try. And it wasn't immediate for me because my body was so stopped up and, and toxic with energy drinks and cinnamon rolls. And I mean, there's a <laughs> long standing joke among my friends that breakfast was a Red Bull and a Hostess cupcake. Yeah. That's not a joke. That's the people who know me know that that's real. And um, I decided I had to turn the corner on all of that. And so by about day 11 or 12, I realized that I had a product on my hands that was going to create the energy I needed and do it in a way that wasn't harmful to my body and be sustainable and be there for the long term. And it turned everything around for me. That was a life-changing moment. I, I didn't expect to have to have a life-changing moment, but that's what happened. And as a result, I ended up eating better. I slept better. My skin is better. My mental clarity is better. And I lost 40 pounds in three months. Um, you know, just in case you have any doubt about the the power of what I'm talking about. I did include a photograph at the end of this slide presentation of me with uh, Kyle and some friends in 2016. That's that's two and a half years ago. That's what I looked like. You know, that's not a person who is very healthy or is going to be with us very long. And um, you know, look, guys, we're you know we're the third fattest state in the union. You know, and uh, in, in my career and life. Um, I've realized there are three things we have to do in healthcare. One is we have to cover everybody. So if we're ever gonna have a successful healthcare system, we have to have everybody in it. The principle of insurance is that everybody is covered. And then the second thing we have to do is we have to cut costs, because we're paying too much for healthcare. We're paying too much over the counter, we're paying too much in our taxes, we're paying too much in our premiums. And so the people who are the smart people who get around a table come up with lots of different ways that we can cut those costs, right? And that's what we're sort of cogitating on all the time. That's what we're working on all the time. That's what I do in my day job. But I came to a realization this year that there's a third component to anything that we do in healthcare, to any solution that we're gonna find as a country and as a society. And that is this, we have to take personal responsibility for our individual health and wellness. We have to stop treating our bodies like you can just do whatever you want to it and we'll fix it later. That can't be the premise of what we do in healthcare. We will not succeed unless there is some movement around the idea that we have to be more well, that we have to become more healthy as individuals. And until we make that step, until that's a thing that's encouraged, until it's a thing that is the, around which there is peer pressure, nothing's gonna change. And so that's why I became very passionate about this product. It not only turned my life around and gave me the energy that I needed to function and go back to my job, it gave me this realization this has to change. And I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not about like lecturing people. I'm not even sure that I'm about making laws about this anymore. I, I think that it has to be a movement. Yeah. I think that people have to decide for themselves that they're gonna take control of their own life and health and wellness. And this product allowed me to do that. And the friends that I've made all across the country now who do this have inspired me and encouraged me and cajoled me and got me <coughs> focused and I've got two of, the, two of the greatest of them with me tonight. So I've got three steps that turn my life around. When I get up in the morning, as soon as my feet hit the floor, I take two capsules. 
Then about 20 or 30 minutes later, I do a drink mix. My favorite is the vanilla. There are a couple of flavors over on the table here. And then before I get to work, after my shower, I put on our DFT patch, which is our dermafusion technology. It is a delivery of nutrients through the skin all day, and that's kind of the killer app that Thrive offers. This is gonna bypass your digestive system, so if you've got issues with that, it's going right into your bloodstream, and it's gonna deliver it nice and even all day, kind of in a time release way. And it's a fantastic um, upgrade of your individual nutrition um, and your personal health and well-being, including energy. And guys, there's, there's um, at least how many, how many customer accounts are there with Thrive today? Is, is it 10 million? million? Are there 10, is it 10 million? We're approaching 10, 10 million. million total. We're approaching 10 million. It's a company that was, it was doing 1.5 billion at the beginning of this year, probably 2 billion by the end of this year. It is North America's fastest growing health and wellness movement. And I'm proud to be a part of it. I think that we have a lot of um, ground that we can cover together here in Iowa. I think that very few people know what Thrive is in Iowa. Mm -hmm. I think that um, we working together can uh, do great things in this state. And so uh, that's what we're launching tonight. So the next piece is um, we're welcoming two of our uh, great mm -hmm. national speakers who are uh, leaders in this company and have been doing this much longer than I have. Um, they are, um, I, I don't know how to, I, I'm running out of superlatives for them, but they're very <laughs> skilled professionals. They bring enthusiasm and real um, passion and empathy to what they do. Um, I'm going to make the introduction of Beth. Beth is going to introduce um, Elise, but I will note that our speakers, while they currently live in Florida and Montana, they are originally from Michigan and Minnesota. And so this is good upper Midwest, good straight Midwestern talk. There's girls. No, these, are, these are the roots of the Midwest. This is, there's no coastal nonsense going on here. No coastal and, nonsense. So we're, we're just going to give it to you straight today. So um, when Beth reached out, um, and she'll tell you the story, but I let my uh, Thrive sample sit for a really long time, and then I waited an even longer time to actually sign up, and I waited an even longer time to actually become a promoter, but I'm really careful. And she's delivered at every step of the way. Um, I, I believe she was brought into my life for a reason. Um, she's been nothing but steady and patient with me <laughs> um, as, we've, as we've built all of this together, and, I, and I'm really, um, I have a lot of uh, pride in being able to introduce uh, Beth Graves today. Beth, come on up. So this is Beth getting her Millionaire Award in uh, New Orleans this uh, spring. Yay! Um, John, sit in my seat so you can record. Oh, okay. So welcome. And um, I love, I, I've never been to Iowa. Being a Midwestern yes. girl, downtown Des Moines, Iowa is cool. Um, and I didn't even have to go outside to get here. I got to walk on the skywalk. <laughs> So um, thank you for coming. We have some new guests that, that this is when that we met today. <laughs> and that is, that's what's so cool about the Thrive experience. I think most of you in here are thriving. We have a few non-thrivers. And when John said it's a decision, um, it's a decision to either thrive. I'm gonna speak to the promoter side a little bit. It's a decision that we make to thrive. It took me um, three and a half months of watching Elise on Facebook. I made fun of her a bit. I called our friend Blair and I was like, what is she doing? She's our granola crunching uh, friend from Montana that always was like coming up with some new tincture. Is that, is that the word? That was good. That, and, and so we kind of laughed at her and then all of a sudden we started to see this transformation, not a physical transformation of her body because she never had a single pound to lose. But more of this, she started to sparkle and glow, and I was like, oh, it's just a filter that she's using. You know, there's, we're all, she's got some, some sort of filter going on. And this then was I the four filters. The, yes, she's, she's got something happening. So anyway, um, my story is that um, I was um, not thriving in any area of my life, and um, I was pretty desperate for someone to reach out to me and to say to me, I have a solution for what you have going on. I needed a financial solution fast, um, which most people didn't know about. I was really good at hiding it. I was the one, if you put on some lip gloss and you drive yourself, you know, you comb your hair and you show up, you're okay. But there was a lot going on behind the scenes. And with financial stress comes a lot of marital stress 
you're not very nice to your kids when you're stressed out all the time. When you're stressed, you're not sleeping at night. When you're not sleeping at night, you wake up not rested. The cortisol levels rise. Um, and I was probably consuming eight Diet Cokes a day and, and living on sugar. Um, and I just wasn't a really pleasant person. So I get this text from our friend Blair, and she's like, you know, this product actually works. It's like, what? You know, who stole your phone and is texting you? So she calls me up, and she says, hold on one second. I really want you to hear the true story from Elise. So we get this merged in phone call, and I, was, I wasn't thriving. I was thinking these people were crazy. And I'm thinking, they're so perky and happy. What's with them? But the things that I did hear was Elise was sleeping through the night. I also heard um, that Blair's neck was no longer hurting and I had huge inflammation issues with my knees. Um, and, but the number one thing that I heard was, this is a decision that you can make to stay home and build a business. And I had been putting my resume together. I had been blessed to be able to be a stay-at-home mom for 10 years. I was a teacher by trade. And I was putting a resume together to go leave my house and go to work with teenagers. And I knew what I was doing as a teenager when my mom was going to work and I didn't want my kids to have those options. <laughs> um, and so I, I fell in love with the business model before I fell in love with the Thrive Experience because I clicked the promoter button before this product ever hit my body. I went to the fan page and I read it like a Harlequin romance novel. And I started to read about the tired mom that didn't have any patience for her, for her babies, the, the mom that couldn't pick up her kids anymore. And I started to think, th these aren't real people writing these stories. I was such a skeptic, but I wanted to believe, I wanted to believe, I wanted to believe. And then I, I read a story about a firefighter on that page, and he was an older guy, and I thought, okay, gosh, Tom lives next door, and he might need this product too. And so as the night went on, and I wasn't sleeping, so I could read the fan page all night long, and I would just read story after story after story. And at that time, how many likes did we have on the fan page? 10,000. 10,000 likes were now one almost 1.3 million 1.3 million there and, and so I was reading the stories and I, I got out a notebook and I started making a list of people and I thought well you know what if all else fails I'm just gonna do this for for the first month because I needed to buy some school supplies for my kids while I was waiting to get that job because there wasn't a lot of extra funds in fact all the credit cards were maxed out so I Elisa told me if you find four people to thrive with you, you can earn this bonus. And I thought, well, that's pretty easy. I know four people that need this product and four people that owe me. Because unlike, I, I was going to those parties buying candles <laughs> and jewelry and cleaning supplies. So they all owed me favors. Uh, so I said, I'm gonna earn those bonuses. And before the product hit my body, I found two customers to thrive with me. Um, but my sisters, I said, listen, I'm going to start this Thrive Experience, head on over to the fan page and start reading and we're going on a vacation in six months and I am going to be thriving and looking really good and you want to come along with me. Mm -hmm. I mean that's how you get your sisters thriving. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my oldest sister in New York had such horrible digestive issues, she works in an international um, firm, she couldn't most of the time get on an airplane mm -hmm. because it would kick in. My other sister is a physician's assistant, she's a super skeptic, she was having a lot of, a lot of headaches daily and was not able to go to work many days. What I didn't expect in hitting the bonuses was that I was gonna change some lives for, for the better. I was thinking selfishly about how is Beth going to make some money, make, get some school supplies, and get on with this, this job thing. And so I, I started to get these stories um, before my story even started. So I ordered a 400 pack. It took six credit cards for me to find one to go through because Elise told me I should. And I said, if I'm going to do this business, I'm going to be highly coachable. I had already decided I was going to be a success, but I was out in four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to stick around long. And so um, I started my day one Thrive experience and I didn't feel anything. I, I liked the simplicity. I liked the taste of the shake. And I was like looking at the clock. I'm like, I'm supposed to be cleaning a closet about now. <laughs> and I wasn't cleaning a closet. And I was, I sent to Lisa text and I'm like, this stuff is crap, it doesn't work. She's like, settle down, go drink some water. Day two, I still wasn't feeling much. And I called Elise and I said, Elise, I don't think Thrive works for me. And she said, well, how many Diet Cokes have you had today? And I said, well, I'm down to three. She said, well, let's stop the Diet Coke.